In this video, we are going to cover three examples to better understand a list comprehension in Python programming language. Let's say we have a list called x, and then we want to build another list called y, which each element of a y list is going to be each element of x list to the power of 2. So that's very simple. I can simply type for every value in x, I'm going to put a value to the power of 2 in y so that's it so for every value in x i'm going to i'm going to put value to value to the power of two in y list so if i print the y variable i'm in the y list and if i run a code you can see here is the result example number two so let's say we have a list of marks of different students and we want to create another list called y and the way we want to create this list is to check a condition. For example, if each mark is greater than or equal to 75, then we are going to put P, I mean passed. Otherwise, we are going to put F, I mean failed, in that list. So for doing so, we simply type for every value in X. So for every value in X, we want to put something in Y. And, and that something depends on a condition. So we simply type, we simply type P. So we want to put P if the value is greater than or equal to 75. And otherwise, I mean else, we want to put F. That's it. So if I print the Y variable, I mean the Y list, and if I run a code, we can see here is the result. Example number three. So let's take this example. Suppose that we have a list of numbers called X, and then suppose that we want to put only the even numbers in this evens list. So here we simply type for every value in X, we want to store the value itself in X. So if I print the evens list, and if I run a code, you can see here are all the numbers, not the even numbers. So basically, in this case, we don't want all the values, but we want the values that are even. So we simply type for every value in X, if that value, if that value, when we divide it by two, the remainder is zero, which basically means if the value is even so once again if i run a code we can see here is the result and as you can see we have filtered those values which are even but maybe you ask what is the difference between example number two and example number three so basically in example number two we are not filtering anything and we are applying this condition because you want to determine what value we want to store in the y list but it, but in example number three we are filtering some values. We are filtering some values. So if you want to filter some values, you should put the if statement, this condition after the for loop. So if you want to filter, you should put the if statement after the for loop. Please like the video if you found it helpful.